I used to go to summer camp, and during camp we would go on field trips sometimes with Mrs. Bugler. Mrs. Bugler would pick us up, we'd all scramble onto the bus, and we were off. We went to a museum, she took us to a baseball game one time, the last trip was an aquarium, this time we were going to some theme park. I wanted nothing to do with these trips, okay? I wanted nothing to do with camp. My parents forced me into it because they like to get rid of me during the day. So I'm just sitting there on the bus waiting to get this trip over with and there was some kind of hold up. Now fair warning, the man I'm going to tell you about is a really creepy guy and is actually in jail now. The head counselor was talking to a person outside. I took Bugler's my headphones out of my ear to get a better listen. But sir, this is Mrs. Bugler's bus. I know that. I was sent here because Mrs. Bugler never showed up this morning. She didn't? No, I'm the new bus driver. You're gonna confirm that, right? Okay. Okay. So that was just the first weird thing that happened with this new guy. He just came out of nowhere. Let's just give it 10 more minutes before you leave, just in case a few other kids show up. So he leaves anyway. He leaves right after he said that. And this little girl had to chase him, almost missing the bus. This happy little girl was so excited for this trip. She was like, glowing and she almost missed it because of this guy so i was like strike two okay then we're driving along and this guy has the nerve to start talking on his phone he was just ranting on the phone for like 20 minutes give another one. you me nobody rid of auto this is stunning well i'll go over i'll go over what is he talking about i was getting really annoyed so i went to go move back a couple of seats and Right as I got up, he moved his hand. I noticed there was no phone. That's strange. Who is he talking to? Maybe he's talking through an earpiece? He's gotta have an earpiece on his other ear, right? I started looking at all sides of him. Earpiece, walkie-talkie, anything. There was nothing. This guy has been having a full-blown conversation with himself. I kind of started to panic. I was just watching him in the mirror trying to figure out what he was saying and then I saw him crack a smile. When I tell people this story that's the part where they think I'm like hallucinating or I must have been seeing things I was so paranoid but I'm not making this up. It was a split second and it was a smile out of nowhere. That's when I see it. That's when everything kind of started to click. Well, I'll go over. Are we going off a bridge? There's no way, right? Mrs. Bugler never showed up this morning. Did he do something to Mrs. Bugler? What if this guy isn't a bus driver? What if he's just a psychopath? I look at his speed. We're going so fast. Like this could really be happening right now. As I'm panicking, I noticed my window had an emergency exit and I'm just reading the directions over and over again to be prepared. Step one, lift this bar. Step two, push window open. Okay, okay, got that. Step th oh no. Oh no, the rest are in Spanish. I don't know how to read Spanish. It's okay, just, I, I can do that. I'll be able to get out of here. If he wants to go off this bridge, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> All these kids are gonna die. I can't just like leave everyone behind, but I'm not gonna live if I don't. Can I just get glowing girl out of here maybe? She never did anything wrong. <sighs> uh, hey, hey, little Miss Sunshine. Listen, I will be able to swim you to safety, okay? She might live. The bridge was approaching. It was getting closer. I was just practicing holding my breath. One hand on the emergency exit and one hand on my leg. I don't know why one hand was on my leg. This was it. The bus felt like it was going faster and that's when he did it. <laughs> he actually did it. He turned the bus. A sharp turn on the bridge. It was happening. We were turning, speeding. And we just, we just casually passed it. 
and turn right into the the um, the theme park. Nothing happened. <clears throat> I didn't die. Uh, we didn't die, but I legitimately thought we were going to die. Also, I heard from a camp buddy like last year that he's apparently in jail now. Pay your taxes, adults watching. Anyway, I'm sick. <coughs> I just got back from VidCon and I got really sick there. If you don't know what VidCon is, it's a big YouTube convention. Come on, you gotta know what VidCon is. And next week, I'm gonna put out a Q&A, questions and answers, because I hit 30K on my channel, and that's just not real. I don't think it's real, but it is. So you gotta check it out. Next week, week after, stuff's coming. Stay tuned, press subscribe. <coughs> I'm so sick. <coughs> ah, feel free to binge my other videos. I got like 28 of them. Something you could say down below is let me know if I scared you at all. <laughs> Did I make anyone jump with that like smile in the mirror? Please let me know. But I'm kind of like secretly glad he's in jail. I sound like a sick, gross person. <coughs> okay, bye.